Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. Well today I need to ham up a pair of Mr. Rain's coveralls that have zippers along the sides of the legs. And I thought I would take you along for the ride and show you how I do it. Now this is probably not going to be the conventional way but a, let me give you just a little bit of history about me and my sewing. I've been sewing since I was a teenager and I started making up patterns at that point. Now along the way I used patterns a couple of times that I were that I bought but I I haven't used a pattern to make anything in about 29 30 years. So everything that I do I just make up as I go. It's just like these skirts, these skirts that are sitting behind me. These are all part of a couple of different orders and I'm going to show them to you real quick. And somebody wanted a patchwork skirt a while back and I decided to design one. I don't use patterns, I just make things up. And same thing when it comes to doing alterations and repairs. I just study how things are made, take it apart, and put it back together again if I have to take it apart. The newest skirts that I've made, these are a little bit different colors than ones you've seen before. Now those of you who are friends with me on Facebook will have seen this them. This one is a little girl skirt and it's in purple. This is a little, little girl skirt, but it's supposed to go clear to the floor. And then the one to go with it, because they have two little girls, is the pink patchwork skirt. And I have to tell you, I've had a lot of fun making these two skirts. And then this adult size skirt, which is part of another order, is all in blues. Okay, so here are his coveralls. And see, there's threads all over them because they've been hanging out in my sewing area for a while. Now, what I did, and I didn't think about making this video until after I already cut off the bottom. Now, what I had to do was he tried them on, he folded them up, and I figured out that he needs them five inches shorter. I'm serious, five inches shorter. And so I, I figure that I'm gonna need about one and a half inches to fold over twice for the hem. So with that in mind, I cut off three and a half inches, leaving the one and a half inches for folding over for the hem. And so making sure that when I cut it through the zipper, I cut, obviously you, do, you gotta place your scissors so they land between the teeth. Now I want you to see what I did here before I even got into cutting, is I pulled the zipper up quite a ways and then put a safety pin underneath it so it doesn't accidentally come down in any way and then come off of there because getting it back on here is going to be a real pain if that happens. So I did that to both sides. So now I've got my machine threaded with the right color thread and I'm going to take this in there and start hemming it. All right, so what I need to do first before I start folding it over and hemming is I'm going to need to cut the zipper teeth off of here up a little ways okay so just to give me a little extra because he doesn't need to it to zip all the way down um, I'm gonna start I'm gonna try two inches up because I've got to cut those teeth off of there otherwise they're gonna be a pain to try to sew through and I will break a needle so right to there I'm using the small scissors because they're going to be easier for me. Let's make sure I'm getting that up where I want it. So two inches right there. Perfect. Just double checking. I keep dropping my tape measure. So that should give me an extra half inch to work with. And trying to cut between those teeth. Okay, and then I'm going to have to do that on the other side as well. So measuring two inches up, make sure I'm in the view here because I tend to forget to look. All right, so two inches up is right there. And then I will cut through those teeth or between the teeth. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure you have a good heavy needle in there if you're working through pants like these 
Typically, if they're coveralls, they're going to be pretty heavy. And right here on these edges, you've got a lot of thickness to go through, especially right here. And I'll show you what I do because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get through all of this. Okay, so this is going to be the hardest part right here because it's like how many layers of fabric? So two, four, Where's that, eight? Several layers of fabric right there. Okay, make sure you lock down your stitches. The rest of this, the main part of this should be pretty simple to get through. So I want that to be about three quarters of an inch, the total fold. Looks like three quarters of an inch. Typically, Seems like it really doesn't matter a whole lot how big your hands are. Typically, right here is going to be an inch. Um, if you have really big hands, most are very long fingers. It's probably going to be longer than that, but I always, I measure to make sure. It's, it just is nice if you know what your measurements are. <clears throat> okay, I went through that. Okay, you have to be a little careful. You can't just go bombing through it. Otherwise, you're going to break a needle. So you have to take your time going through that much thickness. Okay, now I'm just going to fold this over. I'll have a couple more thick spots like that I'll have to go through. Like right here. So when I get up to that, I'm going to stop and I find that the best way I can do this is to kind of do it a little bit by hand and by foot. If you're using an electric machine, it might just want, you don't need your foot, obviously, but just kind of use your hand to turn that wheel to get through there. That's going to be probably your best way to do it. So this actually is going easier than I thought on those thick parts. And on this end, it's not near as thick, so I'm, that's good. And I can cut cut a few more teeth off of there and there we have it all right so I obviously you can see I moved the camera in closer and I so when I do the other leg I'm gonna I want you to get another view so I'm doing my measurements for the zipper I'm gonna go just a little bit above that this time I'm going more cutting off more than what I need for my hem. The one thing about his work tight pants is that um, it's okay if they're a little on the short side. I mean, he's already short, but I mean, shorter than what he'd even need. Usually, his uh work jeans are pretty short kind of high water, high waters okay so i got that done so this time my really thick part isn't going to be till i get to the end and that's actually easier all right i'm gonna that's just a little too far down i want to open this up more to make it easier for me to work so i'm moving this zipper pull up farther and my safety pin I really don't need the safety pin because the zipper's tight enough. It's just not going to come down. But that's more in case I forget and just do something stupid because I've done that before. All right. And you can actually cut some of this excess like this off to make it even less stuff sewing through. You don't need all this, this material. Okay, so about three quarters inch and another three quarters of an inch that gives me one and a half inches okay so bring down my stitch so i get started always like these longer pieces where once i get going i can just so, when I get to the really thick 
part I usually slow down to make sure I'm not going to break a needle and that went through there just fine. Despite, it's like either six or eight layers of fabric right there and then same thing here at the end. But thankfully, this isn't as bad as sewing up his Carhartt jeans. Those ones, oh man, those ones are a pain because they're very thick. And then all the way down to here, so I get to do another quick stitch. Okay, I'm up to the thick part, so I'm going to slow it down. Now it looks like I don't have to do this by hand. Good. Ah, a little cockeyed there on the on this end, but that's okay. No one's going to notice that. All right, so there's that part. There's the hemming. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what I do with the zipper so that when obviously you're, you don't want it to come off of there. Now, I'm sure you can buy little zipper um, clamp things to put on there. And one of these days, I'll think to look for those and have them on hand, but I don't have them right now and he needs these tomorrow. Well, the funny thing is that until I started making this video, it never even crossed my mind to look to see if I can even find zipper stops sold by themselves. So when I was in there hemming the pants, it occurred to me. And I, sure enough, I went and looked it up before I got to this part. And you can buy zipper stops um, online. And so I did order some up for the future and will probably go over these pants and add them in later. It's just something I don't have to do very often. It's kind of rare that he has pants that I have to hem up like this, but I've done it like I think two other times. And um, so I will post a link to those below. And I suggest if you ever, ever have pants like sweatpants or coveralls or, I mean, I've even done a pair of um, real thick waterproof rain pants um, that the, the, overall kind and I did it this way and it's worked really good so it hasn't really been needed so this is going to be if you need to hem pants in a pinch and you don't have zipper stops on hand what do you do because like I said he needs these tomorrow and I'm not gonna probably get those zipper pulls until next here's week. what you do get yourself some sturdy thread and of course I chose kind of a gold color well, it's about the only color I have in this thick of a thread. And then you're just going to get to the bottom, go down to the bottom of where on, and you're going to have to do this on each side of your zipper. And you're just going to whip stitch a whole bunch of stitches right in there. And notice I'm going a few teeth up just to be on the safe side. And you're just going to keep throwing in a whole bunch of stitches. Now this is obviously going to take longer than your zipper pull because it's clear to me, and I thought about this before I even looked at them, that all you need for the, I mean the zipper stop that is, all you're going to need for that is a pair of pliers and just pinch it on there. Now I've replaced a zipper pull before recently for a friend and I found out that was actually super easy to do because you don't even need pliers for that you just it just snaps together and uh, very easy to do but however <laughs> this really is a great way to do it in a pinch and it's easy anyone can do this part and if you can hem it really is not hard to sew by hand in fact I think I've mentioned it in other videos I've been in situations with some of my previous electric machines that didn't want to sew right in the middle of costume making time of the year for the dance shows and I found myself having to make a couple of sets of costumes and sewing them all by hand and I was surprised at how quickly I was able to do it and it was kind of fun it was relaxing because I was able to do it while um, just you know watching a movie with Mr. Rain I just want to show you how easy it is to do this and so I'm going to move on to the other side here real quick. You just you want quite a few stitches because you want to make sure 
that your zipper zipper pull will come to a stop. So I'm going to go back this way so I can tie a knot in this. And then I'll go ahead and do the other side. Obviously, I still have three more to do because I got to do the other whole leg. And then I'll show you how it works. All right, so see here that I'm make what you want to make sure you do is you line this up so that um, this is all going to be the same. It's going to be right at the same height. Now I have it going, it's about mm, a quarter of an inch in length, maybe, maybe a third of an inch. It doesn't have to be quite that long as far as this way. I just, you probably don't even need quite that many stitches. I just like to make sure it's good and thick. And like I said, he's got a couple pairs of his, uh, those, that rain gear. That's a good expense expensive rivers west stuff and he's had no issues with it and i did it the same way but once my zipper stops come in i won't need to use this method anymore but this is definitely and they're very cheap you can get a whole bunch of them what i did and like you'll see in the link below is i bought a set of different colors and sizes so it's all mixed up so i have them for various things but they were really inexpensive. I think it was like $8 for, gosh, I can't remember now. Just a whole bunch of them. So, and you'll see that down there. And good, good thing to have on hand. Also, you should have some zipper pulls on hand. You can get sets of sizes of zipper pulls, these things, so that if ever you have a sweatshirt or anything like that, that your zipper pull breaks on you, Super easy to replace. You don't even have to be a seamstress to do it. It takes about a minute. Not kidding. Super duper easy. And as I said, I'm probably overdoing it on the stitches, but I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. Because if that zipper pull ever comes off there, it is a pain to get it back on right. Alright, so when it gets to the point that you can barely get your needle through there anymore, that's probably good. Come back through. Okay, and I'll show you. See? No problems. It's that's not going anywhere. And it may not might not look real pretty, but the thread actually matches the, the color of the zipper pretty well. And so no one's gonna notice that. I mean down here and it's on I believe it's on no it's on the outside but still no one's gonna notice that no one's gonna see that so at least if you're in a pinch this is gonna work so I still have the other leg to do but anyway there you go so uh, how to hem a pair of pants with a zipper on the side in a pinch and then also I, when those come in, maybe I'll try to do I'll I'll do another video showing those and how you can use those. But and that's something else too. If you don't have the money, let alone just don't have like me, I don't have the time to run out and try to find those things. And ordering them up, I don't know. You know, they're not going to be here in time when he needs these tomorrow. Um, but if you don't have the money, even if it's only six or seven dollars to run out and buy zipper stops, then just a needle and thread. We'll do it. Hope that helped. Gave you an idea of a frugal, easy way that you can fix fix a pair of pants like this. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.